let's go. <laughs> anyway. Hey guys, welcome to a, another episode of the Satcast. Uh, I'm Hamish, and uh, we've got uh, two awesome guests that are really good friends of mine, and they come to the club. We have Barry. Hi. And we have Mike. Hi. And um, we're looking at this microphone, but we're on camera. <laughs> Whoa! We don't, and the reason we're on camera is because uh, we've got a special. Play Fusion has lovely Lee gave me an onslaught box, a whole booster box for me. Ha! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what they and what they said they wanted to do was for us to do a review, and. So I think the best way we can do this is that we're going to crack open all the cards in this pack and then we're going to do a review on all the cards that we have got in this box. We're not going to do every single one. Uh, We're just going to pretty much do whatever the top ones that we like. So should we get get cracking? (laughs) Indeed. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to... This is the best bit. This is the best bit. (laughs) Yeah! <laughs> right, so what we'll do is we'll organise it, okay? Oh, oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. No, no. <laughs> Man, I just wanted to get my hands on it. <laughs> Put it back, Barry. <laughs> right. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, um, we've over, as you've probably seen in some super crazy fast forward motion, we've unlocked everything. We got very excited. We have a shiny scar brand. We have Aventus. We have we, we have uh, what's his face, uh, Frost Lord. Go on, Fro- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frost. He's, he's got the card in front of him, and he still Frost, doesn't know his name. We have we have Frost Lord man. <laughs> we had Frost Lord Vorgan Vosha. Um, we didn't manage to pull Lady Alinda in this box. Lucky death player. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm lucky for you. So, what we, so what we're going to do... We got lucky with the foils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is that uh, we've picked a couple of cards in this set that we wanted to sort of... Which, when we were opening this, we got really excited about and what we think that's going to do in the game. And then we'll, do, we'll kind of go through some of the stuff and uh, the neutrals as well, because I think the new... Um, magic stuff is uh, really good with life and fire um, and then we'll just have a chat about what we think set 2 is going to look like it's going right. awesome let's do it Whoa. <laughs> right so um, <laughs> let's let's uh, kick off with uh, I'll tell you, we'll kick off with destruction yeah? yeah yeah we'll kick off with destruction so these five cards I think that have been they're literally just exclusively just the set 2 stuff um, I don't know how crazy some of them are going to be because I don't play too much destruction, but I think some of them are worth having a chat about. I think Moon Clan Netta is an, is one of them. I think that's a really great card um, for basically the, for the stacking. I think that's just going to be nuts for Gordrak. Um, I it needs to be clarified yeah, depending on how the stacking rule currently works. Well, I think it does say like. It does say in this card text, treat this as a stack of two units for stacking and support. Mm. So there is, the card kind of does say that, despite, I know they're saying that you can only stack cards on non-stacking units, but this card has a rule that literally goes, I'm the only one that doesn't need to follow that rule because I don't have stacking on my card. And as well, you know, it's just a simple errata, right? Yeah, yeah. To make it happen. But I don't know. The whole stacking rule thing, who knows? But regardless, having I think it is going to work. There's no way they can make a card like but, this. But having but having this automatically have stacking too. You may find wolf chariots a bit more of a pick because at the minute the wolf chariot doesn't get played because it's a lot harder to yeah, get the stacking too. Absolutely. Two. And that can just go one card. Now I drop the wolf chariot on top. Bosh. There you go. Or so, the the spider one. What's the spider one? Spider one doesn't stack. No. It's a, that's discard no, that's card. A, yeah, yeah. You idiot. No, well, <laughs> that's the other one I'm thinking of. The... You mean the X2, X2 guy, the one that increases damage by per support? Yeah. 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 And it's just, yeah, that Oryx one. Scrappers. Oryx Scrappers. Oryx yeah. Scrappers. Yeah, that one. I mean, while we're on, I mean, giving health is good. So, oh, yeah. yeah, you're, yeah, not yeah gonna, you're not going to say no to that. So, I think that's 
I think he's going to see some play. He's going to be good. Uh, Savage stickers. <laughs> <laughs> have you got your? Have you got? What is it? Your panini sticker out of the stick <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Come here, shiny stars. I'm going to stick oh. that in. <laughs> Done. Shiny stars all round. Hey, uh, you ripped me sticker. <laughs> um, so it's XX two three. I and basically, I think this is pretty good. Uh, damage to your opponent if this unit it has support to highlight champions cannot deploy units and it's in a cone so so it's better than better control than order of god for deployment well yeah but you've got no, but the thing is it's clunky, but, it's, but it's clunky right yeah yeah it's totally. clunky as hell yeah. because you need to have him on the third top on the third one and then after that you need to wait two turns and then it does I think the five damage is actually pretty good. Yeah. But that whole cone thing where... So, so, yeah, you can put it on... So you stick down a netter on, on, on Loudmouth Megaboss. You stick him on top and Loudmouth Megaboss and now you can't deploy him. Bam, bam. Yeah. Bosh. <laughs> yeah, that, Combo. Maybe that's not that as hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, and there's turns. Because no one plays with Loudmouth, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, actually, that, that reminds me, actually. There was something else in this pool that was, that was actually really good and worth discussing. Um, but yeah, no, I think with him, I think he's going to be interesting. With, like you said, with Loud, Loudmouth, um, I think he's going to be really good. There's a champion that's literally, that we pulled in here, didn't we? Um, the Gobbo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to find him real quick. Na, 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 na. Oh, here we go. Right, so. Drum roll. <laughs> so I'm going to actually take away this blessing. So basically, this blessing that we've got here is uh, Everwinter's Watch. Does two damage to your opponent, gain two health. Draw two cards. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's alright. It's, right. it's not. It's not worse. It's not terrible. It's just. But would but, but, but their current blessing lineup would that go in? No. Well, I don't know. Well, some destruction player may find that and actually turn around and go, "This is this is exactly what I want." You know, it does. It, it, but the thing is, it's just like the other one. It does four health gain to draw two cards. This is just two take damage. away two. Take away two of the health and give two damage. I don't know. That may be that may be more important. It's literally yeah. that is the direct contest of the game four health one. But I personally think the game four health one is better because I think there's something about getting that four more damage. A lot of the time is just a bit more handy than doing two damage back. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That's just me. The thingy thing is. We're reviewing. I mean, you we're, we're, we're reviewing yeah. that in in line with the current meta. You know, it's how that how that changes, that might be a that might be nuts nuts car. <laughs> Maybe yeah. who knows? But anyway, so this champion, right? <laughs> I think <laughs> I think he's well expensive. Yeah, You're not going to be able to run that. He is insanely <laughs> costly. He is uh, a zero health, zero cost champion. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd see a zero cost champion. Damage, <laughs> damage, orc unit, damage, orc unit. And its ability is when this champion deploys a grot unit, rotate this champion one step backwards. So don't put a grot in. A grot in. <laughs> right? But who cares? Because some of the best um, orc cards, the best, the best destruction cards in the game for destruction is orcs. Hmm. So yes, you have two of him, <laughs> and then you have Gordrak and Loudmouth. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I don't but, know. Right, no, but, 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 but would you want to get rid of Rip, damage unit, rip damage two damage spins unit. miles faster than him? What does? Rip yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know whether that is going to be as crazy as it as it is, right? But it gives but, you a massive scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, that, that's that's basically all it is. It's what what I can put literally two massive champions yeah. into this without you know. Normally, you couldn't really do much else. Yeah, but if you were, I mean, oh, you would love that in order. If order got that, you would go C Prime and Voris. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that, 20 points. So, so when people are saying destruction didn't get anything, they slowed down they slowed down the quest, but his ability to give yeah, zero, zero points and basically <laughs> spend that between two and three yeah. champions is amazing. Yeah. So. Another one that's good, uh, I think is really good, is Cascading. Fire cloak. Uh -huh. um, so when it's a spell two three three goes out into a cone. When highlight champion deploys a spell or unit, deal damage to your opponent. I think that's really good. I think that's one of the. I don't. Obviously, there is that big debate about wizards, but I 
truly think wizards are going to come into this, I... and then later on, when we get to yeah. this mm-hmm. one, yeah. I think um... we're going to people are going to really know why when we get to the neutrals. I would see this coming into play potentially, especially now that Destruction have their new. Um, Warrior Wizard Champion, that Flame Belcher guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's literally like their yeah, only yeah. Warrior Wizard. He does cost ten points, yeah. but I think that he's he is in play. He does cost ten points, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we've got a zero point champion, it doesn't matter if he costs ten points. Almost Take two of them in. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. What happens if you had two Flame Belchers? No, I don't know. Uh, it's probably not very good. Yeah, no, they're like unique. No, I don't right. think they are. I don't. Well, we didn't pull any, so we'll have to find out. Anyway, so another one that I think is the last. There's loads, literally, there's loads of other cards. You go on the Play Fusion website, check them out, and um, we're just going to review some of these. Okay, otherwise we'll be here all day. <laughs> so I think another one that's pretty cool is Monfang Hornblower. It's only got two corners. Redu- one one, and it reduces damage received from highlighted units by. By the by, the corner which is one, which is still comes out into a cone, and he his abilities highlight his units gain the following effect: last stand two damage to yourself. So he literally turns around and goes, "I'm blocking you, and I'm giving you a last stand ability, which is deal two damage to yourself. So I will make you. Then I'll remove one of your guys, and your last stand will trigger off, which is do two damage to yourself, which is like no no good to anyone. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's going to be crazy. I just know I, there's something about that I think I kind of like. It's really just, it's just really, really weird. The thing is, it's turned the, it's turned the tables on last stand. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Last stand, you think it's going to be a benefit to me. It is a benefit. Well, it is a benefit to you playing it, but yeah. it's also, yeah. It, it is weird it, because you're going to need to play something else to get that one. Well, I mean, we'll go into chaos, but there, there's that new, there's that chaos unit, which doesn't. <laughs> Imagine he just rocks up and goes, oh, I'll reduce your damage, right? And I'll give you last stand, deal two damage to you. And then when I remove you, you will take two damage. <laughs> and then you will give me two health. <laughs> <laughs> so no, not all, not all last stand units do a benefit. Literally, there's a chaos guy that gives you health. It's bonkers. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, he's awful again. I mean, he's really good against, against chaos. Chaos are going. Oh yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just sacrifice my own unit. All right, two damage. I think the damage reduction is kind of like it's, it's, it's cool. It's kind of, well, it's kind of cool. It's, but really, that card is for chaos. Yeah. That's kind of where it is. And I, and right now, I think that if you are going to play destruction, that's not the most terrible shout to put in your deck. Anyway, so that's some of our car- that's some of our views on destruction. Let's move on. Let's talk about some death. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I've not gone for what I think is going to completely change the meta. What I've done is I've chose a couple of cards that you've already seen spoil, um, but there is a very good blessing in my lineup that has kind of led me on to where I've chose to go with with my cards. Right. So, first card I'm going to throw out. We've all seen it already. It's, it's fuel to the grave. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all know what it is. It's search three cards. It's our new removal card. Um, search three cards. Put them into your discard pile, then remove a card. I like uh, how you say our. Like, yeah. You know, is there like? Is there like? That's because he is death. Is right? there like some like you know death squad? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you some death, death people out here? And then you and you're <laughs> running around with destruction. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it's death and destruction. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I've got I've got nearly full sets of both. So <laughs> right. So yeah, it's it's just this is just unlock so many more possibilities. Um, you know with. Um, certain builds, I feel. You know, I, I mean? this card, this card is going to be the perfect tutor card for this for for death. Yeah, fuel for the graveyard, uh, grave tide. Sorry, is yeah, it's nuts. It's yeah. it's perfect just to try and get those three cards that you can check. Just literally pick anything you want, put it exactly. in the bin, and then remove the guy. And then there's that we we'll talk about this a bit more, I suppose, as it comes out. But I honestly think that death is going to be really going to have more mm-hmm. wizard focus than this and with the wizard ability to literally pull anyone out you know I mean I'm surprised there's, there's oh, anyway you're, but yeah I think there's I this is doing going to see some bigger play yeah. um, from other from other decks uh, I'm going to see some I reckon we'll see some really really interesting um, players coming out of this so I do t- like the way that this has totally opened up the other deck Yes. Your discard, yeah. Yes, and it's they need, like, wow. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what Def needed. 
and I think they're going to literally just it's going to be such fun I'm going to find that other yeah. ability card really not, quick because I don't not think not that one is it no it's not it's an ability card it's the I think well, uh, it's the swap a room one it's the one where basically you can swap yeah, yeah, someone on the board around, to yeah. the discard pile and it counts as triggering a quest yes. as well with that so you just go remove someone put some in there play that bam swap yeah. it around that's yeah that's that's nuts because he's deploying next one why else so, do you so, think he's good so pretty much um, I've gone for a new blessing that's not been revealed yet um, reaping of sorrows uh, it's a 2-3-3 three, three. Uh, damage to your opponent if you, um, if the highlighted champion is engaged this damage is done with rend I think so. that's, that's gaze of mork yeah but for, for, for death yes exactly yeah, it's pretty it, much it it's something that our blessings don't do a huge amount of but it's quite a simple one but it's there yeah. So, yeah, no, I think yeah. that, I, th I think that's really good. I think as well when you're saying no, that's been um, spoiled. I'm telling you now, by the time this comes yeah. out, it's everyone's going to be like, bam, they've probably <laughs> had a hundred <laughs> games of this. <laughs> I mean, this I'm is so broke. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, I'm intri I'm literally intrigued why you picked this person. I just, I just, the reason I don't know exactly if it what the power level of it is yet is the reason why I chose it is because it's something that's changed the whole deck mechanics really. So the highlighted, so this is a blessing, it's passive, uh, it's called Midnight Mark. Uh, the highlighted champions uh, are wizards in addition to their regular class and they may use a bit wizard abilities while controlling a spell. <laughs> It's rubbish. I'm sorry. I know, and it's I, not. I, it's not. It's not, it's not that great. Not, I, exactly. I'm not saying it's great. The reason why I've chosen it is because if you can get somehow to get it off right, it could open some. De how? Some, right. Okay. And when you're going to deck build into that, I'm going to have all these spells and what are you just. How much wizard abilities are you going to decide to put in to make that work? And then before that even kicks off, you've got to try and make. No, <laughs> no, because what no. he's going to do, it's he's not... going to use, uh, he's going to use fuel the grave tide, right, to put the units into his discard pile, right, play spells, and then when he needs the units, <laughs> <laughs> he's being overcomplicated. Yeah. This, yeah. No, <laughs> I, I agree that it's, that's it, a bit of a. It's that, not, that might like, be a sleeper card. Exactly, and that's yeah. the reason what? why. No, but that, that's that's just that I don't understand that in a deck building perspective at all. Why would you have something that can turn warriors into wizards? We're, we're literally with a faction that has nothing more than warrior wizards everywhere. Why would we want to make more warrior wizards? Maybe I'm missing something, but that, that is literally the toughest thing to ever put in your deck for deck building purposes. Like, I don't know. It's not, the, the, it's the, fine. This is why I'm still in bronze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cool card, but no, I, I it's, think, not, it's not going to see anything. I think play. it's just something different. It's I don't, nothing I don't think you're going to see anything happen with that. No, I don't think you will. Let's but move you on might from see, this pretty card. You might this, see that the, in wave three, maybe. Put in the discard pile. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Life Stealer, um, the highly rated champions uh, may use abilities uh, while controlling this spell. Perfect. Yeah, so increase this damage done and health gained by. Two and three, um, so pretty much it's just a bit right. of extra. So basically, we're we're increasing damage and we're gaining more health if you play a ability down this guy's line. Yeah. Depending on what corner we're on, and it starts at two and then it moves on to three. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. So I like that. I that's I like that a lot. That's that's definitely going in to. Um, Death decks, yeah. uh, like modern. I don't know if the modern burn deck is going to be it. I think I think it's good in modern burn deck because of um, the deployment redeployment um, ability. Well, okay, maybe. Hey, 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 maybe we've just found something out of this crummy card that I've just found. <laughs> right now, we have modern the wizards. Burn, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Abhorrent Ghoul King, that's a wizard, yeah? No, no, Ab no yeah. see, Abhorrent Ghoul King, King is, is a vampire, vampire right. but he, he, makes he makes the yeah, Mordens. Yeah. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just looking at this game. Well, if you get multiple of those out, that's yeah, but then you, know, he, 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 you put that in front of there, you've got your more, more so, so you've got your more, yeah, so you've got the Mordent there, more, and the, the Ghoul King guys either side, you flip that, and it turns the Mordent into a wizard. So, which you put the wizard you, that down, plus five. And, and then the Mordens make it so all right okay so maybe so this so maybe this absolute <laughs> so it was right somewhere there, was some, <laughs> there is something there is something yeah. that ties into this 
maybe it isn't that awful. It's literally there. It is hard to maybe it's literally moment. there for that. Yeah, um, maybe at the minute. At the minute. Anyway, uh, and then pretty much uh, the Rave Storms, my last choice. Uh, discard the top card uh, of your opponent's deck, deal damage for each discarded um, in this way. So it's an XX2 2, just pretty much basic mill decks in most I, of the games. But. Well, this is nuts because, um, the, you, because uh, in set one, the, um, da, 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 they had that a wizard ability. Touch. Frightful Touch, push yeah. something two. You literally plonk this down for one and then. Leave it. And then they go turn it and you go, oh, oh frightful touch. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, well frightful touch Four you guys. had to have an, you had to have an unengaged spell. You could you could block right. it by putting a unit in front of it, couldn't you? No, you said about the one that rotates spells by two. Is that uh, a no, no, it's right, not right, a frightful right, touch? Frightful two. Result. Yeah, definitely. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about definitely resolve. Yeah, um, yeah, so definitely resolve, you put this down and then someone has to go, Do I do I remove this? Or does he have the Death Fleet Resolve? And if he does, it's, uh-oh, I've lost four cards. And if they're units, they're taking two damage per unit lost. So the average is, the averages should be between four and six. Because, you know, or it depends on, obviously it depends on what sort of deck you have. But if you've got a bit, you know, people, everyone has units. So you should, between four cards, dump one or so, two. so if you see this card coming out, dump your hand as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Not your hand. They'll be dumping. What do you mean? They'll be dumping your deck. Right. Exactly. So, so, sell your cell and unlock them. Shall we? So, <laughs> so what? Should, what should we do? Should we do chaos or should we do order? Oh, you could do chaos. If you uh, You're chomping uh, at the bit. Let's do chaos. Let's do chaos. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do chaos. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Skullbrand for the next twenty minutes. Actually. Okay. Right. Let's let let us let's. I don't, Scarbrand. Let's just get this out there. Scarbrand is the biggest, oh. best thing in this set, right? Agreed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's hands down one of the best things in this set. There is he the most interesting thing that's happened in this set in a creative way. Uh, no, I don't think I, I. It's pretty. It's pretty lacklustre in terms of the creative sense. You look at what Death's doing, right? Is it going? Is it technically better than what everyone else is doing? I don't know, no, but they do some stuff that's really fun. Yeah. 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 Scarbrand is doing something that is really, basic. really basic. Yeah. And basic that can is the be best. Fun. No, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm smashing you in the face. Yeah. No. I'm having a great time. But ba ba basic. I'm sure he's not an old player. <laughs> basic is the best. If you have, whenever you have something that does one job, and the text is small, you know when the text is small, you know it's good. When you see large amounts of text, <laughs> it's not necessarily bad, but you know there's you mean, more of a cost. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Johnny, you know I mean? like, yeah. Scarbrands is like the most simplest thing in the world, right? Damage, damage, ability, ability. I just increase everything by three if I'm below 15 by, that's, by that's abilities. Nice it's not, it's nothing crazy, uh, like there's nothing, creative about it there's no oh it has to be only done by demon spells or something or, or units or whatever it's just I just do this and then whenever something just goes I do this you're like well that's it's always going to be good right it's always going to be good if it's just just as simple as that <coughs> so Scarbrand is there he is going to if you are going to be playing ranked and if you are going to get to platinum and diamond you are going to see him and that is but he I think he is going to be he is going to be outright strong. I remember um, Will in his podcast saying that he's going to curb stomp a lot of new players. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, he will. People go, well, how does this deck work? He's bam, dead. Oh, I've done playing 15 half. Yeah, dead. But it's what everyone else is going to bring that's going to make him work a bit more for what he has to do. Do you know what I mean? Because everyone, he's very, very apparent what he's going to do. So everyone's going to literally just go, I don't think you're going to do that. So I think the clever Chaos player has got to go, Scarbrand's nuts. He's just going to sit there like the complete weapon he is. And everyone else, I'm going to actually do some other things with all these other champions. Or did you just ignore him? You're an idiot. Like yeah. 50, he's just literally got a blessing. They're ready to go. That's his, his, his quest lines are crazy. He's just, I think that's why he's so going to be so good because he's just, you cannot ignore him at all at any point. If you do, he will just, he will finish you off. 
Yeah, but <laughs> but, uh, the good, but a, a good chaos player will not just turn around and go and make him like, you know, oh, look, haha, he's going to lead the way. No, he's not going to lead the way. He's going to be there to win you the game. And if, if they don't pay attention, that's the guy that he's a guy, but you're going to make it hard for them to pay attention to him because you're doing all this stuff everywhere else. Namely, I think this new champion, <laughs> Bloodmaster Herald of Corn, he is as simple as simple can be. Ability, unit, ability, unit. Two health, two cost champion. Does nothing other than that, right? He is great. Because there's some of those some of those guys that you do think, you know what, what do I put that two cost low cost guy in? Yeah. And he can easily fill that slot. And his quest corners are not awkward not too awkward he is I know would you, would you put him with Scarbrand because that's another two abilities and you want if you're go, if you're uh, yeah, if, if you're going below channel. you're waiting with Scarbrand going I'm not doing anything with Scarbrand I'm playing these guys get these guys ticking over get the quests out you've used two abilities for that chap but when well, you the chat he's a demon but but it's just like you use two abilities you get below 15, you need those abilities on Scarbrand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, then, but like... that's, that's it. But that's, that, that's deck building, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah totally. And then it, the, there, is, there is some uh, damage abilities. There's, rec there's the new Reckless Abandon. Mm -hmm. Remove a high light unit to deal four damage to your opponent. That's bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most bonkers thing ever. You literally can then start building some more units to have last stand. You know, to go, you know, uh, do that, play that, last stand, two damage to you to do four damage to you. It's, it's, it's nuts. So there is more damage abilities came out in this set on top of what they already had. And Scorn of Sorcery, I think that's the one, Scorn yeah. of Sorcery, uh, that will come into play. That well, will, now Wizards are being now, opened well, up. I think Wizards are going to, I don't think it's going to be the biggest Wizard thing in the world. Like, I think there'll be one. Yeah. And Chaos will definitely have one because of no, not because of him. That's the wizard I'm thinking of. Because of a glimpse into the future. <laughs> <laughs> which you got in foil. Which, you, which, I got in foil, which I don't want to bring him out because... So which we've got this in foil. He's been... He got spoiled on the play fusion thing. It's insane. It is... Draw one card. Look at any deck. Rearrange it. Don't like it? Shuffle it. Or you can turn around and go, I know what you're going to draw. Yep. I've got the answer to that. I've got the answer. Well, yeah, I know gonna... what you're going to draw, and it's crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, they turn around, you can turn around and go, oh, yeah, well, I've got Prime. Yeah, well, I know what you're going to draw, Prime. And you're going to, and I know which one you're going to want to pick. So, but then even, I don't know, even then, sometimes you can probably think, all right, well, the, I know the card he really wants is that. And then I'm going to put two cards he really wants, and I'm going to make him sweat for that choice. But having, having this rotate four, four times, times is slow. Is slow. Yeah. And because Chaos is primarily an aggro deck, yeah. you're slowing your deck down to do it. So then, no, you've, but, got, but but then you've got to answer the question, is it worth doing that over doing direct damage to somebody? It's drawing me a card. Yeah. Every, I'm every drawing other, a card. And then I go, point. what cards do I want? That one. Okay. Your turn. And then you're going to remove him, which then moves me nicely onto this champion. Because <laughs> you're going to turn around and go, that's a crazy spell. I need to remove that. Well, if I put it on the Ogrid, whatever his face is. Ogroid Thermogurt. That's Thermogurt. the one. Therm Thermoderb. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the highlighted Thermogurt. champion... <laughs> go on, sorry. I don't know why he's called. <laughs> when a highlighted champion uses an ability, deal two damage to that opponent. So you put it on him. I'll turn him. And then you go, oh, I don't like that spell. I've got to remove that. Two damage, mate. Oh. Okay, put another one down. I oh, do you not want that one either. But his quest call on this are awkward. I'm not yeah. going to lie about that. His two removal ones are awkward. But when we... I've played, you know, playing a lot of Chaos. Your fourth guy isn't really always a guy that you care about. Sometimes you just go, that last blessing is right off. When I, you know, I've been playing Archeon for quite a lot, and that Mr. Billy No Mates champion on the end, or wherever he is, who cares? He doesn't do a thing. And then sometimes he's actually used for people to go, ha ha, if anyone comes here, you're dead. Billy. <laughs> Billy, you stand there. Right? <laughs> do, ignore, just... Do, don't worry about what they're doing. Just get battered. Yeah. The gods are watching you now, boy. Yeah. Well, no, but the thing is, that's literally half the time he is. He does two jobs. He gets in the way of making people going, ah, I'm going to do this. And you just put him there. And he gives you a health. 
Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well, he also got memories that I said, yeah, you, you might not be getting that blessing off, but Scarlet Brown's got yeah, a blessing. That's, that's gift to change, isn't it? No, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's but gift to change fodder. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, he, and you probably will want to have some gift to changes in here, and then mm-hmm. a damage. Uh, you know, you can get a damage off, right? I mean, I don't know how, but we'll find one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but you're, play, you're playing chaos. <laughs> and then the last one, Costly Ritual. It's really good. It is really good. It's really good. But I don't know if it's really good. What's it did? The... Discard your hand. That's not Great, good. You've got no hand. Yeah, but you can play oh, that as your last card. card. Yeah, all right. Okay, but then... Because you burn through cards you... quick. Yeah, but you've got to... Sometimes I think it's just a little bit of you've got to just not care what you've got in your hand and what your this, this so basically you discard your hand deploy two demons from your deck onto highlighted champions normal restriction supply but you can't deploy units on wizards right unless they say they can but you can only deploy it on whoever right and then so you can chuck two guys out that is nuts. It is that's what? rallying cry for chaos. Yeah. Mm, it, it, to a certain extent, that's, 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 that's it's one action no, 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 for two. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's not let's not let's not try and make rally cry. You know, <laughs> let's not try and make rally cry as if it's like, oh wow, that's not that good anymore because this came out. No, no, no rallying cry doesn't that's turn around and go. Two deployments and two draws. Yes, but the cost is your hand. Yeah. For nothing, if you've got right. nothing in your yeah, hand, yeah, okay. yeah, it has okay. it has rally cry potential, but there is a there is a steeper cost to pay there is in certain st- certain circumstances. It's a costly ritual. <laughs> <laughs> it's a costly. Uh, you gotta pay yeah. the piper. Uh, anyway, so shall we move over to order the one and only faction? The one and only. Right. Okay. So we'll we'll start with the new blessing. Uh, we'll start with order's f- fourth blessing. Right. So this will replace uh, Swift Judgment um, if people haven't already because um, three blessings pretty much pick themselves sure. and then the fourth one yeah, pick yeah, one yeah. and I. Over. So, so this, this is called Frenzied Order. It's an instant effect, seven damage to your opponent. Bam. No try, no, oh, am I yeah. going to do four, am I going to do nine? No, no I do seven. seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, that yeah. be, well, so, well, thank you. Okay, so... It does seven damage, right? It does seven what, damage. What it's easy, it's, easy, it's easy peasy. Easy, Trigger yeah. it because because what you find is with order, you get to the last, you get to the last corner, and if you've got swift judgment in your lineup, you just like, I don't want to trigger it now because he's got a unit, yeah. you know, he's got yeah. a unit across from me, and you know your opponent is pretty savvy, and he'll, he'll just keep playing it, so you never get to a point where you have that empty lane. But now, don't worry about it. Seven damage, divine bless, divine blast, six damage, gain two health. That's like 13 damage off the bat. It's yeah. just, that is amazing. It is nuts. So, um, well, I don't really know much more to say about that. It does seven damage. I mean, that's it. Right. <laughs> Straightforward. So, straight that's, straight that's a cow's blessing. What's, what's <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so um, we, uh, the new elf poised Namati Thrall. Mm. Uh, it's unit, elf unit, does uh, one on the first corner, two on the second. It's a, another reducer. It's reduced damage received from highlighted enemies by rotation, but you increase it by one if the highlighted champion it's across from costs two or less. So, I so mean, it, that's, that's, it's kind of on that same boat of where the other elf... Sweep uh, in the Marty throw. That's yeah. it. So it's a, it's a, he, this really one's a poised one. one. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, but that one only does, it's only the highlighted champion is just the one directly in front of it. One directly in front. So, that, what... What do you? I don't know where I sit with it at the minute. I think there is a lot of damage reduction stuff in in order anyway. Mm-hmm. I think where does that kind of sit okay, with all the other ones? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it continues the, the it can, continues the theme of elf. So, can, so yeah. at the minute with the elf build, it, it hasn't got enough elf units really and elf beast units to you know push it that little bit further. Yeah, it's a platinum build if you get the build right. Yeah. Um. Because you know Steve Woolley, Team Covenant, he proved that you could get to platinum with that, with that yeah. season. Deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a damage reducer. What I like about it is it continues the theme of the, um, it, where you deploy it. Order is about placement, and this is another. It's about a placement card. Mm. So yeah, it's carrying on that theme. So it, a lot of order cards are, they're better than what it actually looks like on paper. Yeah, if yeah. you get them in the right place, yeah. their ability spins up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, when you look at that sweep in the Marty Thrall, yeah, it can potentially do three 
you know, if, mm. if put in the right place. Sure. This will be an extra bit. So I quite like that. What do you reckon? Okay. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same as what Barry said, yeah. It's all yeah, about yeah, controls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing the forward and so I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I've just chewed off now because it's all there. <laughs> I, 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 I think that will be that. more late game for them because, yeah. because people tend to spin their best champions. They're not necessarily the one and two cost champions I, I and then they'll start spinning the lower cost later on. I think my opinion on him hold on. would be better explained when we do the summarise of it all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Um, okay, okay. Uh, third one. So it, it's a spell. It's got no value on its first or second corner. <laughs> it is it, blank. It is. It's not an X. It's a blank. Right. Okay. This is called Azerite Halo. When this exhausts, deal four damage to your opponent. That's okay. So that's two corners. That's two right. corners. Yeah. So it's going to go off. Yeah. So what the good thing is though is highlighted units gain the following effect. Last stand, deal four damage to your opponent. So right. any any unit that the guy wants to uh, take off the board, uh, well, you'll, yeah, do, yeah, you'll we'll get do, last stand. We'll last the seven. problem is with this card is your opponent will get rid of the Azerite Halo. Yeah, absolutely. But, but it will save your unit. But that's the thing, isn't it? That's where this card comes into play. Is it great? Mm, probably not. It's probably in the bit in the biggest set grand scheme of things. It's probably not going to see the board, but it is a deterrent, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's going to turn around and go. Well, this guy. this guy um, who is going to do who is really annoying. Maybe the liberator. I well, know you can't even get rid of the striking raptors, can you? That's because they're nuts. But then maybe there's um, there's literally another guy. You know the the blocking guy that says you can't remove anyone. Yeah, yeah, the text of power. you've got to remove him, but you have that out. Okay, so I can't. So yeah, if he's I only going to. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a deterrent, isn't it? It's do you really want to remove these guys? You can't. You really have to remove this. So that's one of your removals. And I know there's more. I know there's more. And that's probably not going to be very good against. Um, be interesting against the shotgun removal. Shotgun removal. With the, with the three. Say so he's got. Um, oh, comet, oh. comet Strike. Or sweeping gorgonters. Oh, so the sweeping gorgons are going bam bam. But only an idiot would do that, right? They'll go, <laughs> surely go, ha ha. Oh no. You know, yeah, but yeah, it'd be out. It'd be like, okay, I'll put this out on my next turn. You're going to take it's, 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 it's a deterrent. It's yeah. interesting. I don't it know control, how big it It controls be. the board in another way. They're, they're adding more control elements. Yeah. How this comes into it is another thing. Sure. So, what about your Chaos Blessing that removes the units? Uh, oh, um, yeah, but I don't know it's called. Oh, total the, carnage. Oh, outrageous, outrageous carnage. carnage. Yeah, I just want to have that. Okay. I don't know, <laughs> but the thing is, I, I probably would still actually, I, with all this new set coming out, I'm jumping back a little bit to yeah. this, um, I don't know if I... I would still put this in my deck with, with, with that knowing it exists because I know that that won't... I don't think that will show up in the bigger picture at all. And I'd still be safer to think that. So I, yeah. I'm not going to put it in because there's Call of Blessings coming out yeah, now. Yeah. But I'd still put it in if, like, that wouldn't be an argument. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's, it's cool. Yeah, a different way of defending. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. so... Um, okay. A few more, and then we'll go to well, the neutrals. This, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the, the... I basically just wanted to talk about the new the new line of play that they've got through Wizards coming out for order. Now, this is only... They've only got this in order at the minute. I do want to talk about him as a card in itself. Yeah, that guy. okay. Well, we'll, we'll go through him. So, yeah. Dracoline Evocator, Staunch Evocator opens up wizards to become basically warrior wizards. But so, does it though? Well, it does, because you have units in. Yeah, so so okay, the Dracoline yeah, right. Evocator will actually deal damage, and it will deal additional damage depending on how your opponent's deployed. Okay. So this is another one like Poison Amati Thrall. He actually does more than the paper print cost does. This damage, this unit can be deployed in wizards, damage to your opponent increases by one if there is a highlight... If there is a highlighted unit. Hmm. So does it increase this by one if there is a highlighted unit? So does this... In, is, I don't think no, it, does it, it doesn't go it, twice. No, it just increases. It just has once. to have one. So but, it's but his corners go to two, two, three. So he, gets, he becomes seven damage over five. Uh, That's not... Uh, so is yeah, it five or four? Four. four. What do you mean five? It's all right. Oh, oh sorry. Mm. So, but yeah. Why don't you look at this giant this thing that we're gonna put <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I, I think it, the thing is with builds with wizards is because you you don't 
if you play wizards at the minute, you don't have many spells. Sure. Yeah, and you and then you're basically playing three lanes. Right. But with these cards, if you haven't pulled a wizard, if you haven't pulled a spell, you can at least get something down on the board. Sure, sure. So it but opens then... up the potential to make them more flexible. So you're not just sitting. But okay, yeah, fine, fine. Um, I guess. I don't know. I don't know actually what that means. I have probably not... I haven't played it enough to know what that means. But could that be blocking the way for me to actually want... Oh, I've got my guy in the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has got four corners. But you could always speed him up if you have, you know, Heraldor. Heraldor's always around. Yeah. Um, Yeah, So there are ways to speed up units. What were you going to say, Mikey? What was I saying? At least you can use ability level. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah wizard ability off and have a union in front of him. <laughs> so anyway right this guy Staunch Evocator is nuts oh he's amazing he's nuts so, so he so he's like a he's like a charging alpha pack and he he, he starts guys time. yeah but but then why did this charging uh, if someone knows this and they can comment and probably answer this a bit better why was this why was the Griffin Beast guys not not in the deck because they could restart they could restart only Stormcast whereas yeah this was Stormcast only yeah I don't know they're, in, yeah, they're exactly yeah. the same but except for that one's it, that, one's giving, just tech, that one's better in every way because that yeah, one's Stormcast so he can be reset by Varus himself yeah, and he's and he's can go on a wizard, wizard. to make a wizard more flexible. He, he basically, he I mean, exactly if thing. you're if you're smashing this out on long strike raptors or skybolt judicator, you just like I'll go again. Oh, you didn't block, you didn't put anybody there. I did seven damage with skybolt judicator. I'll just reset him, go back one space. Yeah, and then you've got but, Lord of the host. Yeah, yeah, and then you've got that other um, ability that they came out with, um, the one that. I don't, I don't know if that was in this pack. It's the one that you can, your one of your guys has to be put back one step to restart a guy. So your champion goes back one. For, no, I don't think we got him. Did we not pull it? Well, it's on the it's on the yeah. spoil thing. Here we do. Here it is. Order before glory. Draw one oh, right, card. Yeah. Rotate this. Rotate this champion one step backwards to restart a highlighted unit. I. There is so like literally, there's so much restart in that it's insane. Yeah, the, pro- the problem is if you have too many restarts, you ain't going to get through your blessings. No, that that is the one and only drawback. But, but if you've got skill. protector primes of Voris, you need abilities, so it doesn't matter. No, so you could just go, oh, I'll play an ability because I rotate. Yeah, so that's that's where you have to just look at what yeah. what it, it, you oh, know, yeah, it's, it's time, isn't it? Yeah, it's big. So yeah, I think that that guy's really good. Right, I don't know why, and we're gonna keep, and we're just gonna end it on this guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, we're going to end it on him, Volturnus, High King of the Deep. Why have you, you not picked this guy? This guy's insane. I wanted to go for other cards. I what? literally think this is the next. <laughs> I, I think this is it's, it's Scarbrand, then him. In terms of, I know there's probably some sleeper units like the Grot guy that's a zero, and he's not overtly strong, but he makes the other strong. This guy's strong. This oh, guy's this guy is literally a reason to play. Yeah, but it's him, him and Prince, the Marty Princes. Yeah, and then the ones that were just removals and yeah, if you, you could, remove you could play uh, Soul Scryer, him and two princes. You just got that's pretty quick. Well, there's Lotan as well because there's literally some cards that are beast yeah. elves that are dormant, dormant or remove. Do- so the remove yeah, then, works with Soul Scryer. Yeah, but then there's also the, the the wizard as well that can push elves one forward. Yeah, you can't have everyone though, can you? <laughs> well, I'll try. <laughs> I'll play with five. Right, so, okay. So, um, in the latest, uh, in the latest, in this latest set, wave they, two, wave two, they have uh, released a load of neutral cards. Now, this is the very first time they've done this, and um, they have done something I generally think is one of the most interesting things that they've done in this game so far. Originally. Everything was just um, everything was just red, purple, green, or yellow, right? If you play the yellow deck, you can only have yellow order, right? If you only play the purple death deck, I don't know why I'm saying colours, but <laughs> if you, don't know if you, no, uh, you can't mix, right? Every other game that yeah, we played from Netrunner to Conquest yeah. to Magic 
to whatever. You I didn't play magic. Splash. You didn't play magic. <laughs> but, you, but you know, but you know the concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ally. You mix. You, Ally. you mix up things. So it's not just whatever I can do. It's whatever the, whatever they can do. It's also interesting for me as the red guy and. Maybe whatever they can do, that's also interesting for me. I can mix with all these different ways to make this a very, very, very unique playstyle. This his is doesn't do that. The only thing you can borrow is the grey cards. Yeah. Everything else is if I've got red, red it is. And then it's kind of cool as a collection that all these spare cards that I've got, I then realise I go, oh, I've got a deck. I could literally yeah. just got a deck because I've just got a load of order coming around. That's that's cool. But in deck creations, is whatever is in there is in there. They've done something for interesting for the very first time. They've actually chucked in more grey cards. But then just chuck in just grey cards and just neutral for everybody to tap into. There is now different realms of magic, fire and life. Yeah. So if I'm going to pick fire, I can only have access to fire spells and fire blessings. Same with life. And both of these sides have got bonkers stuff <laughs> so let's move on to you're doing the best spell in the deck we're going to do the best spell, spell. we're going to do the should we just kick there's, this off there's no no no, no I'm not going to waste everyone's time 3, 2, 1 I'm okay. not going to waste anyone's on, time yeah. this is why this this kind of loan is going to make wizards come into the game it's called flesh to stone it's a life um, spell it is one three corners one 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 draw cards your opponent cannot gain additional actions. Oh, pardon? The opponent <laughs> cannot gain additional actions. Just, just in case there's any destruction <laughs> player out there. What does that do again? Uh, you don't get any extra actions. <laughs> <laughs> Your no. small cards. Oh, as, a, as an order player, I'm loving it. Yes. <laughs> no, right, okay. Fire. Oh, fire was crazy, right? Fire was crazy. And fire is still pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I still think there's yeah. that fire has got some amazing oh, yeah, aggro. Good. Life has got some control, right? Draw cards. That's the biggest thing. You place this down immediately after putting this down. You draw a card. So this is why chaos is going to have wizards because chaos. I for me, I'm going to be tapping into life. I've got two draw cards. Pow! What are you going to do? Remove it's very, it. It's not very chaos, though, is it? I don't get life it. magic. Ah, uh, but I, I, this is the, this, this is the thing is I, I kind of looked into the law of that. It's not when you say life, you sort of immediately think you know light and halos and, and all that. It's actually growth. That's meant to be. The, that's when they were talking about the law. There's meant to be like the the, the growth of life. Right. You know, so you know. Um, in, so that's why they've got that seed. What, what what what's that faction? Tree people. Yeah. Sylvaneth. Sylvaneth, they live in that realm. Yeah. Because they just, it's all about growth and life and, and everything just builds on real quickly. So life can be very, extreme growth can be aggressive. So there is some cards in there that do a lot of damage, which is one of their blessings, which we can't find. But it's the one that does uh, more damage to every person that's can, kicking it, about. The casino card. Yeah, the casino card. Yeah. What is it? What? What do you call it? Because it, it, it's either going to do it's going to do a, a, a little bit of damage, that's it. or it's going to be crazy. Hyper snare seed. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. even in the, even in the name. Yeah. It's like I put this in the seed, and, it's, yeah. and everything just explodes out. And whoever's there, it just does more damage, right? Yeah. So, flesh of stone. There is some um, there is some more control stuff to this. I don't not. I honestly do not see any reason why anyone would play this card. It. So, guys, set two. Exciting. It's, it's amazing, it's, isn't it's, it? Yeah, they are well excited to get, just get the packs, get Volturnus in, see what Aventis can do. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so I'm 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 blown away. Now, um, yeah, you know, there's probably going to be some, you know, people people are probably going to go. Is this actually going to change everything? I. I think, Probably, I, I, I think it is. I think it will. But maybe because I'm like the biggest white knight of it all. <laughs> and no matter what, I'll be like, no, it's good. No, I think I'm honest. But I think the biggest thing people need to just tell themselves is, are you enjoying yourself, right? Are you enjoying playing this game? You know, sure. I, and there, there's going to be some really crazy... I, there's going to be something crazy coming yeah, out of this, right? Totally there's going to be a deck out there, right? Yeah. Cool but I, I have a small hope that there's going to be 
some more decks that are probably not the craziest of crazies. And the craziest of crazies will be Gordrak, will be Scarbrand. But I still honestly think what it's whatever order and death can pull in there to make it go, we're not making the way you guys fight each other easy to fight us. Yeah. I I think order order are more deck specific to who they're playing against. I'd like to see what elves so, can do. So I think, yeah, they might not be the greatest on ranked. They'll be good. Mm. They might not be the greatest on ranked, but pitch battle where you can pick and choose yeah. what your sideboard is and you can basically tailor your deck to who you're fighting, they are going to shine. Yeah, but you've got to have your initial setup. Oh, yeah, totally. But they only need to take a few cards out. Sure. It's that. It's the puzzle piece. What do I need the puzzle piece to be against destruction? That's not going to be the same against chaos. No. Whereas... You know, they can go, I can just slightly change my game plan. Mm. I can stick those extra cards in. Mm -hmm. Bosh. Yeah. What do you reckon? I think pretty much, as Barry said, it's with, with, there's totally a difference between what we're talking about, between pitched, online, um, just casual games. But the game is, is definitely moving in the right direction. It's been three months. We've got a massive load of cards, yeah. which is always amazing. Yeah. Just go, you can never say, oh, this, these cards are rubbish. Yeah. They're not. The cards are brilliant. It gives mm. you more options. Thanks. This is going to open up so much stuff. Absolutely. Um, well, I tell you what, thank you everybody for um, for uh, listening, watching, however way you're looking at this. Um, I will get this out on a podcast at some point when we've got all the, when I've mad this all up together. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of our first one. If there's a few things that are a little bit, you know, crap, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you, know, <laughs> you guys, you guys love your constructive criticism. I want some as well. Don't leave me out. Tell me what what you can do better. Um, and then if it is something that's enjoyable, we'll probably do some more of this um, going forward in the future. But as of now, it's just something we just wanted to try out because I visually wanted to just show what's going on here because PlayFusion, again, kindly gave me this onslaught box for, well, I don't know, loving their game. I find it mind-boggling. Thank, so Thank you so player. much. Amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, and I just wanted to visually just show what they what they've given us. And yes, we haven't reviewed everything. We wanted to review the box they've given me. I've we've bought more. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, yeah. we'll, when we say bought more, we pre-ordered more because oh, yeah. by the time we've done this, yeah. yeah. But so, the mix has been really good. <laughs> Near enough for every yeah. one of the high cost champions bar one. Thanks. Which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Death <laughs> Donina. <Nina. laughs> <So>, right, guys. <laughs> right. Peace in a bit. <laughs>